हेलो दिस इज राजन के वक्त चौरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी लोनेर दिस इज द सिक्स वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑप्टिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बेन ब्रिज मास स्पेक्ट्रोग्राफ बेन ब्रिज इज ए नेम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट एंड द बेन ब्रिज मास स्पेक्ट्रोग्राफ इज यूज टू सेपरेट द आइसोटोप्स फ्रॉम द गिवन मटेरियल also the bend bridge mass spectrograph is used to find the unknown mass of an ion now what is the principle behind the bend bridge mass spectrograph so let us see the principle we know that whenever a charged particle or we can say that an ion is moving through a region where perpendicular magnetic field is applied then due to the perpendicular magnetic field the ion or a charged particle takes the circular path and the radius of that circular path is proportional to the mass of the ion also we have discussed the concept of velocity selector the velocity selector is generally used to form a single velocity beam and this is generally the principle of bain bridge mass spectrograph now let us see the construction of bain bridge mass spectrograph in the case of bain bridge mass spectrograph there are mainly four parts the first one is ionization chamber as the name suggests ionization chamber is generally used to produce the ions the material which is under study is taken in the form of gas in the ionization chamber with the help of potential difference the gas is ionized and the positive ions having charge plus 1 e are formed in the ionization chamber now the second part is the velocity selector now what is the meaning of velocity selector velocity selector is a region where electric and magnetic fields are present and both that fields are perpendicular to each other and the velocity selector is used to form a beam of ions having the same velocity now the third part is the momentum selector momentum selector is also called as the vacuum chamber vacuum chamber now what is the use of momentum selector so in the momentum selector a magnetic field is applied and due to the magnetic field as the ions that are formed in the ionization chamber crosses the region of velocity selector enters into the momentum selector and due to the magnetic field which is applied into the momentum selector the ions takes the circular paths now the last part is the photographic plate now what is the use of photographic plate as the ions take circular paths in the momentum selector the ions strikes to the photographic plate as soon as the ions or charged particle strikes to the photographic plate a line is marked on the photographic plate the number of lines on the photographic plates gives us the number of isotopes for the given particular material that is under study so let us see the animation of the bain bridge mass spectrograph this is the ionization chamber as we have discussed the material under study is taken in the form of gas in the ionization chamber now this is the slit s1 s2 and s3 now the slit s1 is used to accelerate the positive ions that are formed into the ionization chamber slit s2 is used to form the beam of the positive ions and the letter b is used to show the magnetic field with the help of these plates an electric field is applied to the positive ions so this the re, this is the region where electric and magnetic fields are present and both are perpendicular to each other this is the region of velocity selector so the region between s2 and s3 acts as a velocity selector now this is the momentum selector and uh, this is the photographic plate and this is the complete setup of uh, bain bridge mass spectrograph now let us consider 
a magnetic field is applied perpendicular in the momentum selector. So, whenever a positive ion is enters into the velocity selector, that will pass through the slit S3 and enters into the momentum selector. Keep this in mind. Only those ions having velocity V is equal to E by B will remain undeflected while crossing the region of velocity selector. All other ions having the velocity larger or greater than V is equal to E upon B will be deflected. So, in the animation, a small mass is passed through the velocity selector and enters into the region of momentum selector. So, due to the perpendicular magnetic field, that ion will take a circular path and uh, strikes to the photographic plate and a line is marked on the photographic plate as shown in the animation. Now, assume that the second mass or the second ion having larger mass than the previous one enters into the velocity selector, passed through the velocity selector and enters into the momentum selector through the slit S3. As the mass of this ion is larger than the previous one, this will take the circular path having larger radius than the previous one. So, this is how the ion will take the circular path and uh, ion will strike through the photographic plate and a line is marked on the photographic plate as shown in the animation. Now, consider the third ion having the larger mass than the previous two ions passes through the velocity selector and enters into the momentum selector through the slit S3. Again, due to the perpendicular magnetic field, this ion will again take the circular path, but in this case, the radius will be larger than the previous two cases. And this will be the circular path. And uh, as soon as it, it uh, strikes to the photographic plate, a line is marked on the photographic plate. So the number of lines on the photographic plate tells us that the number of isotopes are present in the given material. Okay. Now let us see the working of the Benvy mass spectrograph. As we have already discussed, the radius of the circular path is actually proportional to the mass. And uh, we have already seen this in the animation as well. Okay. Now let us go to the working. Now we know that the electric force is given as Q into E, where Q stands for the charge of ion and E stands for the magnitude of the electric field. And the magnetic force is given as QVB. Now, if these two forces are balanced, then uh, we can write it as QE is equals to QVB. So, velocity V is equals to E upon B. This is already discussed in the previous videos. This is uh, discussed in the case of velocity selector. So, keep this in mind. So, the ions having the velocity V will pass without deflection. So, as soon as these ions enters into the vacuum chamber or momentum selector, that ions will take the circular paths. So, due to the magnetic field present in the momentum selector, ions will take circular path and we know that for the circular motion, the necessary force is the centripetal force. So, in this case, the centripetal force is provided by the magnetic force. So, we can write it as mv square upon r is equals to qvv. Now, what is mv square upon r? This is the centripetal force, formula of the centripetal force, where m stands for mass, v stands for velocity, and r stands for radius. So, mv square upon r is equals to qvb. So, r is equals to mv upon qv. Here, v, that is the velocity of ions, q, charge of ions, and b, magnetic fields, all are constants. So, we can write it as R is directly proportional to the mass of the ion. Now, that means the ions of different masses traces the different circles. 
as we have already seen in the animation. So from the above equation, we can calculate the mass of the ions as well. So the momentum, uh, sorry, so the Benbridge mass spectrograph is used to separate the isotopes as well as to find the unknown masses of an ions. Thank you.